large is large. Guyana is one of the smallest country in South America. What does large have to do with Guyana? Let us explore together. As a Guyanese born in the city of Georgetown, Guyana, South America, we decided to find out what is behind this tropical country. Guyana is known as a land of many waters. The name comes from an American Indian word meaning land of many waters. Guyana is north of the Amazon River and east of the Oracle River, known as the land of many waters. Guyana is made up of these three Dutch colonies, Essequibo, Demerara, and Burbis. Guyana is bordered to the east by Suriname, to the south and southwest by Brazil, to the west by Venezuela, and on the north by the Atlantic Ocean. Guyana is the third smallest independent state on the mainland of South America. Its population is approximately 700,000. Guyana is often referred to as the land of six peoples. The largest ethnic group is the East Indians, about 51% followed by the Africans, 38%, followed by the Chinese, followed by the Europeans, followed by the Portuguese, and of course, the original people of Guyana, the Amerindians. We have been living together for over 150 years. The Indians stayed mainly in the rural areas. The Africans going to the cities, they went to the cities. The Indians remaining in the rural areas of the plantation as sugarcane workers and dominating the rice industry. The Africans going into the civil service as professions, as workers in the urban industry and Bauxite. The Portuguese and Chinese went into commerce. The Amerindian mainly in the interior. Today you will see the integration has begun where the groups have mixed more intimately and freely. Don't you love it? Large numbers of Indians have settled in the cities entering the civil service and the professional jobs today. And a lot of the integration already have taken place. You may ask, what is Guyana famous for or known for? The answer is, Guyana is actually famous for gold and rice. Guyanese is one of the most important exporting country of gold. Also, there are many famous people of Guyana. Let's share together. We all know Rihanna. Who's Rihanna? Her mother is a Guyanese. Phil Edwards, Olympic bronze medalist athlete. Phil Aaron Edwards, he's a medical doctor, was born September 13, 1907 in Georgian Guyana. He's known as the man of the bronze and he was a Canadian most decorated Olympian, the first black Canadian man to win a trophy at the Commonwealth Games. Marcus McCoy, Olympic gold medalist athlete. Mark Anthony McCoy was born on December 10th, 1961 in Georgetown, Guyana. He is an Olympic hurdler who won a gold medal at the 1982 Commonwealth. Maritza Correa, Olympic silver medalist swimmer. Born December 23rd, 1981 to Vincent and Anne who moved from Guyana to Puerto Rico. Maritza became the first black woman to qualify for an Olympic swim team in 2004. Troy Ross, a professional boxer actor. 
Troy Amos Ross was born on July 17, 1975 in Makoni, Demerara, Mahaika, Guyana. He is Canada's top range boxing athlete who completed in the 1996 Olympic in Atlanta and 2000 Olympics in Sydney. He is currently ranked as the fourth best cruise weight boxer in the world. Sean Foley, professional golf instructor, born in 1974 in Burlington, Ontario, to an Irish dad and a Guyanese mother. Sean Foley has coached PGA Tour golf professional, Egerton Marcus, Olympic silver medalist, pro boxer. Ed Egerton Marcus was born on February 2nd. 1965 in Essequibo, West Demerara, Guyana. He is a Canadian boxer who won the silver medal in the medal weight division at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, Korea. Mark Teixeira. Mark Teixeira, Major League Baseball player for the New York Yankees. That's right. He was born on April 11, 1980 to John and Maggie Teixeira who are Guyanese. His grandfather, his father, and his great-grandfather are all Guyanese. Guyana is on the map, guys. Let's follow the Guyanese athletes, the famous people, right here on the Audrey Johnson Show. How large is large? The first woman president of Guyana. She became president December 19th. 1997. She was born as Janet Rosenberg to middle-class Jewish parents of Chicago. Janet was married to Prime Minister Chetty Jagan. They were married on August 5, 1943, and she moved with him to Guyana in December 1943. The first Jewish president of Guyana, Janet Rosenberg Jagan. Shakira Bashkin was born February 23, 1947 in Guyana. Shakira Bash admired her mother very much, who was a dressmaker. Shakira Bash became a fashion designer. She won Miss Guyana contest and went to England. That's where she met her husband, Michael Caine, the actor. Shakira Bash also was a model, a fashion designer. She worked in the advertisement field for Maxwell House Coffee. Shakira Bash also acted with her husband, Michael Caine, in a movie, The Man Who Would Become King, with Sean Connery. Guyana is all about family, and we have to admire Miss Shakira Bash Kane. Carol Christine Hilaria Pounder, actress. She was born on Christmas Day in Georgetown, Guyana. For all the Guyanese out there, we love Christmas for the pepper pot. Her parents moved to the United States of America. Carol and her sister went to London to a convent. After high school, she followed her dreams to the United States. You may know her for her work, her intensity on ER. Flora Chang Lin. She's an actress, fashion designer. Flora was born in Hong Kong to a Chinese mother and a Guyanese father on November 20, 1959. After her brief career as an actress, she went on to create award-winning costumes and manage a host over 50 television production with Asia TV, Shanghai TV, and Oriental TV. She also worked as an image director for Nina Risi, French Vogue, and Vidal Sassoon. In 2007, Flora won the World Outstanding Chinese Award. In 2001, she won the French Chamber of Commerce Award of Women of the 21st Century. Let's hear from Bonnie Alves, a filmmaker of Guyana. And let's hear what he's saying is going on in Guyana. My name is uh, Bonnie Alves. I am a writer, producer, director, singer, instrumentalist, 
I've been involved in music for a very long time. From the age of 14, I became a professional a singer with Cortis MGs, actually. And after many years, I you know, extended my boundaries and I started to arrange, produce, direct, and now I'm into film. And I'm into film because I think that it is the epitome of the arts, the epitome of entertainment. And all over the world, countries are you know, being recognized for filmmaking. And I decided to venture into it. And I must say that I'm really, really happy to have been involved. And, you know, we are here as part of the President's Endowment Film Project, uh, in which um, President Jack Dio uh, put some money up for eight of us to make eight short films. The U.S. Aid was a donor agency, and the University of Ghana was the, was the facilitator. And so they brought down Mr. Brian Zam from the University of Ohio to teach us some of the finer arts in movie making. It's wonderful to be here. I'm happy to be a part of history. We are celebrating actually the launch of Cine Guyana. Cine Guyana is a young company of writers, directors who have pooled their resources together, their energies, their abilities to produce films for Guyana. That's awesome. Now, standing next to you is also a film producer, a she writer. Is, she also. is. A producer. I am a singer first. You are a singer first. <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. Yes, I used to be a dancer in my younger days. Okay. I'm a singer first, and now I'm a producer. Now you're a producer. And what do you guys want people to know about not just you, but the culture, what the culture is doing, and about the community around the world and how we could pull together? What is, it, what is your message? Well, you know, it is very, very important to inform Guyana, the world, Guyanese. Sometimes Guyanese feel kind of left out and that there's not much to shout about. But I think if we really investigate, there is a lot to shout about. There, are, there have been Guyanese who have been making large contributions in the field of athletics, music. There's Eddie Grant who has been doing very, very well for himself. And there are a number of other people too who have been doing well. What we want Guyanese to know is this. We are here and we are talented people. We are talented as anybody else. Yeah. What we need is the support. Yeah. Jamaica has made it simply because Jamaicans are very, very aggressive. They are very proud of themselves and they are very proud of their art and they are very, very proud of their culture. They believe in themselves. They got the support of their people. I've gone to that country three times and the one thing I see with them, it's something about love. They always speak about that one love and that love. There's somehow we need to connect with it. If you want to showcase your business and share your story, give us a call, 805-795-3350.